Hey everybody. Okay, so a lot of you guys and girls have been asking me how do I do skin? How do I tweak them skin? Mm -hmm. So we're gonna work on uh, this dude today. Um, Hell ambassador female. And basically there's three things that I'm gonna teach you today. There's a lot of other things that you can tweak and mess around with, but uh, the, the ones that we're gonna mess around with today I'm going to take a screen grab of this right wall just so we can compare it at the end. Uh, there we go. And let's just switch off rendering because it takes 10 years to do anything. So there's three things that I mess with a lot. There is uh, if you select your character, so Hell Ambassador, and you go down to the surfaces, you get, uh, you may get a couple of options here. Like if I take a Sahil, you can see there's many options under uh, her. You gotta select the character. So over here, I'm gonna take Hell Ambassador. I'm gonna select the character, open up the under surfaces, open up the uh, arrow. And over here, you'll see all the surfaces. Now look, I wanna concentrate on all the skin, right on the skin. So I'm gonna select skin here and it'll select all the parts with that I wanna affect. The arms, ears, face, legs, torso, all of it. So that's just a nice little nifty little thing. If you want to do individuals, you can go ahead and select individuals. But I want to work on all the skin over here. And that's what I'm going to do. So the first thing I'm going to do all right, is I usually mess with three things. Specular, roughness, and translucency. Um, there's many other things that you can mess with. Let's see if I can actually uh, render this out and this video thing still captures. I, I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know. It's being a little bastard. So this is what our character looks like. And the first thing that I wanna do is mess with the translucency. Trans, tran. And over here you can see translucency weight. And you can start lifting that up. Uh, I'm just gonna lift it up all the way for now. Um, and that's what you get. Sometimes if you don't see color anymore, it's daz, it just messes up. All you gotta do is go a little bit down and go a little bit up again or wherever you want and you'll get your you'll get your colors back and you can already see the light translucent the skin becomes translucent comes a little bit see-through it's like a balloon think of a balloon when you put like a light behind a balloon and you can see that light just going through the balloon and lighting it up that's the same thing about translu translucency is it kind of gives uh it's it's light entering through the 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 body. Now, translucency and SSS, subsurface scattering, are two total different things, but I've noticed in DAS they kind of work the same. Uh, like in a bigger program, you, sh you get things like uh, epidermal and subdermal and, and different layers to the skin. In this, it don't look like it. So I mess with translucency and I leave SSS alone. Um, and you can see it starts becoming a little bit more jello, right? Second thing I want to do is I want to get spec on it. Spec is light. Uh, so if I go down here, I can see deal specular weight, deal low specular weight, and it's on zero at the moment. So there's no other options. There's no light on it. What it's specular is, it's like a mirror. The more reflective a surface is, so the more specular I give it, the more reflective it becomes. Okay, it's it's light on, uh, it's light shining off the the character, or, or think of it like mirror or water. So I'm going to give it like a high specular, and now it opens up multiple options for me. Right, you can see now it's got some light on it. Ooh, sexy. Let's give it a little bit more specular. Um, so you can see now it starts having more light on it, but don't look like a mirror or anything um, because its roughness is really high. So if I type in rough here, now I get access to two roughnesses. I think this is the minimum and maximum. It's low roughness one and two. And I think what it does is it averages between the two. Um, but I'm just going to move them together. So because it's quite high, you see it diffuses the light. Now what roughness does is it, you can think of it as diffusing the light. So it, it spreads the light and the more rough something is, the less of a mirror it becomes and the more rough it becomes. Think of like bricks or walls or wood. That's a high roughness. A low roughness is something like water and uh, mirror what it does is it, it kind of tightens the specular so if I take these two and I bring them all the way down you can see we start getting like this kind of ooh, shiny like uh, tight speculate skin 
and you can start seeing you kind of get this very high kind of a gloss on the character he looks really fleshy now and really slimy now and that's pretty cool so that's all that I kind of mess with uh, so if I turn the roughness up you can see it starts uh, it starts to uh, spread the light it's just, it, it diffused that uh, specular and it, it just broadens it and spreads it over the area in a, in a much larger surface so it doesn't become reflective anymore and you kind of get something looking like that but the tighter I make it uh, the more tight it becomes so translucency how much light is kind of entering the body or, or the skin or the surface um, specular is how much light is shining off that surface uh, how much reflectivity is shining, shining off that surface and the roughness controls the specularity the roughness is I can make either glass out of something a uh, very specular glass or water or, or something like that uh, or I can make turn it into something like bricks or wood or, or whatever so you're controlling uh, the spreading of that light specular roughness and translucency uh, I mean there's a lot of other things that you can check out I mean if I take this away you know you can you can t uh, metal, met, 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 metal. Uh, and if I put that up it's met metallic so it's turning an object into metal uh, now physically correct is either zero or one but you know we're doing art so you can mess with all the in-betweeners and stuff but if you want like a proper PBR metallic uh, you, you're gonna either use zero or one um, it's either metallic or it's not but you can mess with it since we are doing art but you can now see that this object turns into something metallic so I'm gonna take that down and then you can mess with base colors which is how bright your diffuse is and how uh, dark your diffuse is if I make this a lot darker you'll see it gets a little bit darker but translucency is on one so it kind of overrides everything on this you can see translucency color if I bring this down then it becomes a lot more dark because I've got my translucency on one okay um, but you can also change the color of your translucency you can change it to whatever you want just be careful because boom you get something that's really odd looking so be careful with your your translucency and and how you use how you use it um, and that's it like there's a lot of other things that you can go around and you can mess with and we'll go over those in a lot more detail but just to get you started on getting better skin use translucency specular and damn roughness all right all right alice is class enjoy and i hope that helps and i'll see you guys in the next one